This one's for all you chatty Cathy's out there. What's up, socials? Happy Social Thursday. If you're a lot like me, you probably wish you could talk on Twitter for longer than 140 characters. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who want to carry on for longer than a tweet will send one out and then they'll put a second tweet in the mix and add, please see previous tweets. You can understand what I'm saying. Then there's third party tools like tweet longer and stuff like that. Sort of silly because, you know, if your point is to get to 140 characters and that's it, then why are you gonna click a link to go see what the rest of the tweet is? You probably went on for too long. But I do think it is handy to be able to go on a little bit longer sometimes. And one of the new features on Twitter kind of allows you to do this if you know how. You may have noticed if you're following a couple people who also are talking to each other, that that conversation will show up together in the Twitter stream. A little bit unprecedented. In the years past with Twitter, you really only see pieces of the conversation. But for those commonalities, it allows you to do that. This has to do with the reply technology. If you reply to somebody properly by hitting the reply button to that specific tweet, then Twitter knows that this is a reply to that specific tweet. You may think that it's the at handle in the reply that is stitching this conversation conversation together, but that is only a very small piece of this equation. Turns out if you reply to a tweet and then delete the at handle that shows up automatically at the beginning of it to formulate the rest of that copy, it will show up as a reply to that tweet anyway. So guess what happens when you reply to yourself. So I've experimented with this. If you want to send out a tweet and you want to extend the conversation maybe into one or two additional tweets, but they all have to be together in order for it to make any sense, all you have to do is send out the first tweet, go to your profile, reply to your own tweet, delete your handle so you can keep talking, and then continue to do that until you're done. The people that are watching the feed while this conversation that you're having is going on, we'll see all of those tweets together because the commonality is just you. It's just you're the only one in this conversation so far. But the reply technology allows all of these things to show up together because of the conversation that Twitter thinks you want to see because of the commonality factor. Cool stuff, huh? Don't go overboard with this, okay? Twitter was meant for 140 characters, so get creative with that. But in the few cases that it makes sense to have a little bit more real estate on that newsfeed, this is a handy way to do that. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it, as always. Let me know what you think of this little Twitter tip in the comments below, and also below the comments are below the purple bar. That purple bar is for Amy's Elite, so you don't miss a beat. That's my email newsletter. You'll get all the updates from SavvySexySocial.com right there in your inbox. Why would you miss out on that? Ugh, seriously. I will not be back tomorrow here on the YouTube channel because as most of you know, we do not publish on Fridays. Fridays are for margaritas and podcasts. And the Marketing Lifestyle Show will be new tomorrow. So check that out on iTunes or Stitcher or just go to marketinglifestyleshow.com to listen in your own special way, however you prefer. And I will see you there. And then I'll see you again next Tuesday here on YouTube.